Beloved brothers and sisters in Christ, my name is Miriam Camargo. I have a program at YouTube called Zion Songs, and I am also a prophet of God. And this February 15, I had a vision. I had a vision. I was praying, and suddenly, I saw a vision. And before telling you the vision, I want to uh, read to you uh, Joel uh, 2 and 12 that says, Even now, declares the Lord, return to me with all your heart, with fasting and weeping and mourning. The God is requiring something from us. And the, the same book of Joel says, the word of God, that at the end of time, God will reveal things to his prophets, to, to children, to youth, to old, and to everybody. And we see that is happening right now. So, as I was saying, I was praying, and suddenly I saw a big eagle big eagle i'm gonna show you how the way was the eagle i'm gonna turn the camera and i'm gonna show you so okay excuse me see that eagle that's the way that i saw the eagle but the eagle that i saw she was um she was very sad like this one trying to help herself she was looking for rescue okay she was looking for rescue she was under a stairs it's one o'clock on her aspect she was feeling in danger i felt that she was feeling in danger I asked the Lord what this means. I told my family what I saw, but no one told me nothing. I went to pray for discernment from God. And God told me, this eagle is United States. This eagle is United States. that are weeping and sad. But America chose the situation. That's what God was telling me on my discernment. And God gave me a word. And I have a word from God for America, for you. But first, I want to pray to tell you, Father God, here I am in the name of uh, Jesus, humbling myself before you. Father God, help me to deliver this message under your anointing of Father. You are the father of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. I know it, who will listen to this message and believe that you are reigning and ruling forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Yes, God said, listen what God said to me. God said, God told me, I have chosen my people. But they have left me, forgot, forgotten me. They have left me, they have forgotten me. America has chosen Saul, the king Saul. When I well have rejected and despised him, the American have 
rejected me following wrongdoings. But their eyes can't see. But my eyes, says the Lord, are flames of fire that see inside and out. But the blood of the innocents are crying out from earth to heaven. I am what I am, says the Lord. I am the first, I am the last. The power is inside of my hands. I am the truth. I reveal the truth. I breathe truth. The evil do evil things. But I will shake the heavens. I will shake the earth. And the things that is hidden under the carpet will come out. The only thing that cannot be shaken is my word, says the Lord. My people are suffering with troubles, but I see all of them. I see and hear their cry. The cry of my people is coming to me. I see the blood of the innocents. That cries out. Even as Zebel blood cried out from the, the ground, the innocent blood are crying out from the ground. And do you know? Do you know? I'm listening to their cries. Because the power, authority are all mine. I overcome it all. The problems on the cross. All the problems are on the cross by my son Jesus. So wake up, forget Saul, King Saul, and you will be blessed. You ask, what can we do? Can we do something? Yes. The answer is yes. There is time yet. Second Chronicles 7 14 says, If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear them from heaven, will forgive them, forget their sins. And will heal their land. Beloved, God wants to heal the land. But it depends on us. God will shake the earth and heaven. But his word cannot be shaken. Seek, humble, and pray. And our Lord will be healing the earth. Listen, Joel. Like we said too. 12. Even now, declares the Lord, return to me with all your heart, with fasting and weeping and mourning. God wants you to turn to him with weeping, fasting and mourning. And he will hear from heaven and heal our land. Okay? God bless you. I hope you can understand what I'm saying. And I hope you can follow what God is asking us to follow. So, I'm going to say a, a small little prayer in Hebrew. Shema Israel Adonai. Eloheinu Adonai Ihad. Hear, O Israel, the Lord is our Lord. The Lord is one. There is no other God. So, let's pray and look for God and ask Him to heal our land. And he will. God bless you. Shalom.